Jen and Jamie on a Thursday. Dynamic duos. Bible edition. Hey there, lunchies! It's Thursday, and you have the lunchbox. So it's time for Jen, Jen and Jamie, Jamie on a Thursday. Thursday. Dynamic duo. Bible edition. <laughs> That's a lot of like taglines with is. Jen and Jamie on a Thursday. Can you imagine if we had a shirt made that had all our <laughs> <Just> <laughs> hashtags on them? Ooh, man, you have to go front and back. Anyways, we digress. Um, so last week we had a money bag. <laughs> this week we are. <laughs> you and I dressed as a judge and a felon or a criminal. Or so dynamic. <laughs> guilty or not guilty. I don't know. It hasn't been decided yet. But um, usually when you think of a judge, the judge is a person in court and the reason we have court is to decide the fate of a guilty Con. or a innocent individual yes. and so um dynamic duo ultimately is something that goes together right right okay so that's why good we, or bad yeah good or bad so yep. like today's story mm -hmm. two people dynamic duo for the wrong, wrong. reasons yes. money bag wrong reasons not as well known not as well known although like during the time frame that this happened, it was a really good thing because the church was growing. Right. But they were very sinful, very greedy. We're Have we given that. you enough clues yet mm -hmm. <laughs> to actually know what we're talking about? Well, and actually when you had brought this one to my attention, I even was like, oh yeah, we don't talk about them mm -hmm. a lot. So we even had to relook up this story just to they're not. It. They're not a very popular Sunday school mm -mm. lesson. It should story. be though, because what be. happens to them in the end? Whoo! Thanks. Wow. Anyways, did all right. Guess? So did you guess? If not, we're spoiler alert. We're telling you. <laughs> so our um, dynamic duo for this week is Ananias and Sapphira. Ooh. So they are from Acts chapter five. This is the time of the, like the start of the church. This is when things are really starting to amp up. Peter was working um, in their area in the church, and the church was growing. And as growing churches do to increase and continue ministry. Um, they needed funds, a lot like the churches of today. In order to send missionaries out into the field, we have to mm -hmm. support them um, and give them a means to get there and to provide for their family while they're there. And then to do the work of the church, to help heal and care for people and to spread the news and feed the hungry and things like that. Um, and so that was what was happening at that time. So Ananias and Sapphira did what a lot of people at that time did. <laughs> and they, they sold off their farm land. Sold off some land, <laughs> sold off their property um, so that they could have a quick influx of cash, um, which was very wonderful and mm -hmm. a noble thing to do. However, mm. when they sold Not off their land, <laughs> they lied about how much they had sold it for. So let's say they sold their land for $350,000. Um, they very gladly told Peter that they sold it for 250. And they purposely kept from them, made a big deal about this yes. is how much we sold it for. Well, they promised to yep. give everything that they sold the land for. Yep. So they promised and broke that promise. And broke that promise. Lied, were greedy. And... <laughs> <laughs> It didn't stop there because they lied not only to Peter and to the people, they also lied to God. And so God used them as an example and he immediately struck them dead. Well, yeah, because ultimately, okay, yeah, man could have known or not known, mm -hmm. but God, God knows. Who sees everything and knows everything, mm -hmm. knew that they were one hiding that and two very deceitful about it. Right. And so the lesson was going to be learned. Yes, and God makes sure that we learn it and quickly, too. <laughs> so the lesson then that Ananias and Sapphira have for us today is we give out of a cheerful heart. Mm -hmm. We are not deceitful with the gifts that we give in church. Um, we give because we want to further the ministry and mission of the church, not because we're forced to or not because we are begrudgingly giving mm -hmm. it, but instead we give with cheerful hearts. Well, yes, because our offerings are thankfulness to God, mm -hmm. and so... Um, we give with a cheerful heart because yeah. we're thankful for all the things that God gives us on a daily basis. Right. We don't need to hold anything back. And if it's a penny or a mite, it's a penny or a mite yeah. because it was given with a grateful heart. If it's even more than that, a million pennies. dollars, <laughs> then it's given with a grateful heart because the mission behind it all is thankfulness to God and growth of the ministry to further the kingdom here on earth. So don't let the judge strike you down. <laughs> Give with Yikes. a grateful heart. Yeah, don't be found guilty in the end of yes. giving. 
strongly. <laughs> mm. Ouch. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, with that being said, it is time for... What's in the lunchbox? Ooh, for amber waves of gray. Wheat stalks. Wheat stalks. Now this one will be a fairly well-known Bible mm. story because this one was not as well-known. And I would venture a guess to say everybody knows who these people are, just whether or not you can place the clue with the person. Hmm. I'm going to go with Joseph. Oh, and, and his dreams. And his dreams. I can see that, but it's not Joseph. Oh. Spoiler alert. Try again. Not Joseph. Don't guess that one. Hmm. <laughs> Dynamic duo. Wheat stalks. If anything, this has given us a like Bible scavenger hunt to go and kind of find what. Uh, well, exactly. and we're doing a lot of hopping between New Testament yeah. and Old Testament. It's not like we're just going in right. biblical in, order, in Sunday school order. Yeah. So. so this week was not so well known. So next week is a little well, bit more well known. So make sure that when and you... a happier ending, I would say, <laughs> or a happier message, much happier, <laughs> not being struck down for lying to God. This is very true too. All right. Well, from Jen and Jamie. May your lunchbox always be full. We'll see you next time. Jen and Jamie on a Thursday.